So I just wanted to take a quick look at this Rotring 800 ballpoint pen. As I'm sure some of you know, the Rotring 600 line was recently re-released as the Rotring 600 and the Rotring 800 ballpoints. And uh, I was able to pick up one of these Rotring 800s, which is essentially the Rotring 600 gold trim twist retractable. I had one of these you know, way back in the day and I sold it when uh, prices started to climb, uh, not realizing how far prices would go. Anyway, these are available for under $100 now, whereas uh, if you bought one, kind of a new old stock, you'd be looking at over $400. And the design is relatively true to the old ones, but you're getting you know, 95% of that, of that pen. So brass body with a heavy texture on it. The texture actually seems heavier than I remember it, almost more like a Newton than the old 600s. But again, I haven't used one of these in a long time, so it's hard to tell. Beautiful knurling, which uh, Rotring has always done. This does uh, wear out over time because it is brass, but it's really nice out of the factory. Like the original, it has the gold trim and here as well. The, uh, and this was sort of what one of the features that defined the 800 line now, again, which was the 600 gold trim twist retractable. Just for reference, here is the, an original knurled Rotring 600 and the standard retractable ballpoint. This is not clickable. It is a twist retractable. Rotring also sells a re-release of the 600 style click retractable. That's essentially a new version of this pen and that's being sold as a Rotring 600. It's all super confusing, but uh, if you spend a few minutes, there are some good resources online. As for this pen, uh, really beautiful quality, uh, nice heft to it, even though it's not very large. Again, the uh, trim is really nice. It's not too showy, but it works well. The clips here are always very strong, so it's worth keeping in mind. They are functional, but they, they take a while to get used to. The top button is not functional from what I could tell. Definitely doesn't click. If you twist it, you twist the entire mechanism. The uh, twist has a slow return. So if you were to twist it, twist it, twist it, and let go, it returns on its own. Again, twist, 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 it returns on its own. If you twist, there's a nice subtle lock and it stays. And again, if you twist, it returns on its own. And that's a really nice feature so that you don't uh, accidentally leave your pen out and you know, write on your shirt or something. Also, it uh, means if you, you never like, start writing with it halfway down and like, you know, rip your paper or something like that. As for the rest of the pen, it's just a simple, simple design. It has the body. This is a kind of a standard rotoring refill. This is the one millimeter ballpoint. These are fine. They last forever, which is nice. Uh, I tend not to really enjoy writing with them too much, but they get the job done. And then the body. I haven't taken this part yet, which it is a new pen. It doesn't seem like any need. And I'm thinking there's going to be some fiddly bits at the top just to deal with that twist mechanism. As for writing, I have paper handy. This is the Rotring 800 twist retractable. Very standard ballpoint writing. Uh, the good news is the cartridge is very easily upgradable, so you could make this into a much more interesting pen with this just uh, a few seconds 
As for changes from the original, uh, let's see. It's hard to do because, again, this is the original 600, whereas the uh, this is the 800, and there are very few changes to the pen, obviously, except for the mechanism. This is the click, this is the twist. Uh, I don't have an original 600 twist to show you, but they're really similar. The main change people have pointed out is that the uh, old 600s have a color indicator here. So uh, you have black ink in it, you can twist it to be green, blue, red, and that's it. Mine's on black. The, uh, the new pens do not use a twist indicator. This barrel is just uh, static, I guess. So no big deal there. And that's also true of the 600 where it's a bigger deal here. Obviously, if you twist this, there's a twist mechanism. Uh, whereas the other ones, uh, this does not twist. So the color indicator made perfect sense. Some other things to note is that the uh, clip is like, is really on there. I don't think you want to move that. You could scratch the body. Uh, these bodies tend to have, sorry, they tend to hold up over time with the main problem being cracked brass, not really so much the uh, serious scratching to the coating. Anyway, uh, really nice pen. I've been enjoying it so far. Uh, I've been probably gonna have to go ahead and switch that Roachman cartridge out and put in, put in an easy flow or something more interesting. But uh, yeah, uh, I was able to finally fulfill my wishes of once again owning a Roachman 600 twist, except it's a Roachman 800. But uh, I think it's a great opportunity for some people to get that original Roachman feeling. So thanks for watching.